One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, should I clap? I'm gonna clap. So let's make a video game. I'm really excited about this. I've been a gamer since, basically since the time I was two or three, my parents have stories of me holding an N64 controller while they played Dr. Mario or Banjo-Kazooie, which are still some of my favorite games of all time. Um, I definitely grew up on the N64. In middle school, I was an Xbox kid. I was a shameless Halo fan that lied to his friends about playing at semi-pro tournaments, even though I was 13 and also not very good at Halo. And of course, in high school, I got hopelessly addicted to League of Legends. Which might make some people very, very angry just hearing that statement, but uh, it's a game that my friends and I still play to this day, more so for the social aspect because we all know how to play, it's easy to just jump on and play a couple ARAMs. So I've definitely been a gamer since I can remember, since I can think, and the one thing I've always wanted to do is make a video game. In fact, I got into software engineering solely because of game development. I started making Minecraft mods in seventh grade, and none of them went anywhere, but they certainly made me feel very inspired to create. Game development is a fantastic way to turn code into a creative outlet. And now I feel like I'm in a position where the only thing stopping me is myself. So I'm going to make a game, and I'm going to document that process here on this channel. Mostly for my own posterity, I think I'm talking to my future self a lot right now when I'm saying this is something that I want to do and I should not let any of my fears of failure or my fears of not knowing what I'm doing scare me away from completing this project that I want. So listen, me three years in the future. I'm a big believer in creating your own opportunities. I think that luck plays a big part in a lot of people's lives, but I think luck doesn't come to people who don't create opportunity. So this is me creating opportunity and maybe by working on a game and posting the updates to this channel, I will open a door, um, open a lucky door for myself. That's sort of the goal. Don't, don't quit. This is, uh, this is the opportunity, right? We're creating the opportunity here. Anyways, I have an idea for a game. Um, it's about a raven who is a paranormal investigator and goes to a town where people have mysteriously gone missing and no one can seem to remember them. I am basically brand new to Unreal Engine. I've done some of the tutorials I followed a tutorial online on YouTube, of course, because YouTube is the superior platform for everything. I found a guy named Beard Games. Shout out to Beard Games. He has like 20,000 subscribers, pretty small channel, but he makes really great Unreal Engine tutorials. So I followed a few of his tutorials and I've learned a few things about Unreal, but I'm basically starting from ground zero. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. In this first episode, I wanna cover some of the setup that I've done for the game and sort of the first steps that I've made. So I started with the Unreal top-down project. I changed the mannequin into the little Unreal Engine first hour of code sprite because I think it looks more similar to what I want the eventual art style of the game to be. So I'd rather see this sprite running around and doing things for now, um, and not the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. The next thing I did was actually draw out a town map on a whiteboard. Sadly, I have since erased the whiteboard, but I did not erase the town that I made because I actually imported, well, not imported, I recreated the town that I drew in three dimensions in Unreal. So the next thing I did after changing the mannequin was create a landscape and just sort of plop down a bunch of squares to make some buildings approximately where I want all of the buildings to be. I am still trying to get a sense for scale. Like I said, I've, I've never done anything in Unreal before. I've never done any 3D modeling before. So it might look a little weird.
The buildings look kind of ginormous to me, but I can't tell if that's like normal. Like I, I feel like my perception of reality and how big buildings are is like completely skewed. The next thing I did was add some atmospheric fog. This is a detective game, so of course it's got to be moody. I want to make the atmosphere a big part of this game. Um, so I added some fog. It doesn't look very good, so I'm probably gonna play around more with the fog. But I'm just trying to like, I think that the most important thing, because this game is like a more atmospheric, it's not about the mechanics so much as it is about the story and the atmosphere. I'd like to get a basic understanding and like a, a basic like sort of feel for how the world, like, you know, how the world feels to interact with before I start doing any of the heavy implementation. I'm still figuring it out, so it looks pretty bad. The next thing that I did is sort of implement this like really, really basic dialogue box. I kind of like the way that the widget like, you know, looks. I know normal dialogue boxes sort of appear here, here, at the bottom of the screen for a lot of like uh, visual novels or more story driven games but i kind of like the way that the dialogue sort of you know pops up in the world like above the character um, i like the way this looks so i'm going to play around with it so i think i've got a pretty good start i also messed around a little bit with the movement options i added this little camera spin because sometimes the camera gets stuck and it looks all janky and I don't really feel like fixing the camera right now because that's like a super late stage thing. I feel like that you can, as long as you have basic movement down for the character, you can go in and fix the camera stuff later. Uh, so I have like basic camera movement and then I have basic uh, manual camera movement for whenever the camera gets stuck in a weird place, I can just like move it out of the way. That's uh, that's the start. This I'm, I'm really excited. I'm, I've never committed this hard in my mind to this project. I've obviously thrown around the idea of making a video game and obviously on this channel I have a couple of like fun wacky projects that I worked on because I like I just I really enjoy creating and sharing those creations online. It's really fun to put energy into these like absolutely just stupid like meme troll projects. I I think that that's probably the funniest the funniest comedy to me is like the hardest commitment. So spending four months or six months or whatever, however long I spent on like the Minecraft stock bot was funny to me. But this this game is sort of a more serious endeavor. And I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of scary. Like I think I think the reason that I do the projects that I do in part is because they are jokes. And that makes it feel less scary because at the end of the day they're just jokes if they don't work then it's part of the joke or if they're really like janky that's part of the joke like the eye tracker in the eye tracker video like was horrible i actually used this this same webcam that i'm using to record this right now instead of like an infrared camera and the eye tracking was like garbage but that was funny it was part of the joke it's funny this game i want it to be good and that is terrifying because that means I have to try. I'm going to try really hard to keep myself accountable by posting semi-regular updates on this channel in hopes that it will help me to overcome some of that fear that has stopped me from doing this in the past. Wish me luck. And I don't know, hopefully more videos appear on this channel. So that's basically it. I'm gonna leave now.